So, you've fallen down the fountain pen rabbit hole. You've tried some beginner and intermediate fountain pens, and you've come to a crossroads. Is it time to invest in a fountain pen with a gold nib? You look at the price tag and think, there's no way. There's no way. In this video, we'll go over why these fountain pens are so expensive and highlight some of our favorites for when you're ready to make the leap or if you want to expand your gold nib collection. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Let's get right into it. Gold nib characteristics. The look, AKA the materials. If you look closely at a gold nib, you'll see a 14, 18, or 21 karat imprint. What do these numbers mean exactly? I'll tell you. Pure gold, classified as 24 carats, is too soft and malleable to be used for fountain pen nibs. Other metals are therefore mixed in to create a durable alloy that can withstand years of writing and drawing. The higher the number, the purer and softer the nib is. We should note that the color of the nib doesn't automatically mean it's made of gold. Many gold nibs are plated with a silver-colored metal, like rhodium. And some steel nibs can be colored to appear gold, which is also confusing. For example, Kaveco nibs are available in silver, gold, and black. The feel, aka the writing experience. The smoothness that fountain pen enthusiasts seek out from nibs is not actually determined by what they're made of, but by the tipping material. The tipping is the part of the nib that makes contact with paper. Both steel and gold nibs are almost always tipped with an alloy of other harder metals like iridium. In comparison to steel, gold is a springier metal, so not only can it provide a slight amount of flex and wetter flow, it can also help cushion any feedback or scratchiness caused by microscopic tipping imperfections. It may not change your world entirely, but when it comes to fountain pens, little things can make all the difference. The price, aka the hole in your wallet. We've mentioned in a previous video some factors that contribute to the cost of a fountain pen. Naturally, implementing rare, reliable materials and first-rate quality control will separate a good pen from a pen that's meant to be handed down to future generations. The addition of a gold nib, of course, means you'll be spending a little more. It's a precious metal, after all. So if you've saved up some money and are looking to expand your fountain pen horizons, a gold nib is a great way to go. It adds prestige to your pen collection and offers a smoother, more luxurious writing experience. Now, let's get into some gold nib fountain pen recommendations. Everyday Carry, Lamy 2000. Considered by many in the fountain pen community to be the ideal everyday carry pen, the Lamy 2000 has an understated, seamless design. It features a high ink capacity, piston filling mechanism, and windows in the barrel letting you see your remaining ink level. The Lamy 2000 has a 14 karat nib that's semi hooded reducing dry out by minimizing the nib's exposure to air. Choose between iconic black Macrolon or flashier brushed stainless steel versions. Luxury, Sailor Pro Gear. The Sailor Pro Gear line is beautiful to look at and to write with. These pens are available with either a 14 or 21 karat nib and come in three sizes. The original Pro Gear, the slightly shorter and thinner Pro Gear Slim, and the compact and pocketable mini. It's so cute! They come in a wide array of colors, so you're sure to find one that fits your personal style. We should note that Sailor's gold nibs are known for having some feedback. It's normal to feel the vibrations in the nib as you write or draw. Sailor also makes stunning Pro Gear Slim and Pro Gear Slim Mini fountain pens for Nagasawa, a stationery store founded in 1882 and based in Kobe, Japan. Unique Material, Visconti Homo Sapiens. The Visconti Homo Sapiens is unlike any other fountain pen we've come across. Its resin body is infused with basaltic lava rock taken from Mount Etna, one of the world's most active volcanoes. This gives the pen a comfortable weight and pleasantly grippy feel in the hand. It also makes it virtually indestructible. 
The lava color pens have 14 karat nibs, while the standard and windowed ones have 18 karat. Wide nib selection. Pilot Custom Heritage 912. The Custom 912 looks a bit plain, but don't judge a pen by its body. The 912 offers a whopping 15 different 14 karat nib options. If you appreciate calligraphy or adding flair to your writing, check out the Falcon nib, which is especially beloved for its ability to flex. Additionally, gold flex nibs can be found on Pilot's Elabo and Falcon fountain pens. Before moving on, we have to quickly mention the Pilot Vanishing Point. It's one of only a handful of retractable fountain pens and comes with an 18 karat nib. Won't dry out. Platinum 3776 Century Fountain Pen. If you're into fountain pens, you may already be familiar with the Platinum Preppy and its slip and seal cap. The 3776 Century utilizes the same mechanism keeping the 14 karat nib from drying out for over a year without use. This classic looking pen is far from boring with transparent body finishes and metal accents. Limited edition 3776 century pens, such as the shape of a heart, go the extra mile. Two of the gold hearts stamped out of the nibs to make their breather holes are placed in the cap's finial along with loose scattered crystals. Do you have a gold nib fountain pen already? or is one currently on your wish list? Let us know in the comments below. You can find all of the products linked in the description and at jetpens.com, the place for pen and stationery lovers. Thanks for watching. So, you've fallen down the fountain pen rabbit hole. And you go, why? Why did this happen to me? Why, wallet? How could you do this to me? And the wallet turns back at you and goes, why did you do this to me? <laughs> this is when I tell you you don't need to buy a gold nib pen. But you do. You don't, but you do.